one of the top 100 restaurants in Texas by Yelp. The Cook Shack is known for its hot chicken. And now it's open two new locations. Bird is the word, you might say. And joining us to talk more about this is the owner himself, Mr. Mark Rogers. Thanks so much for waking up with Thank us. Thank you for having us. I'm excited to have you. And I mean, look at this spread, everyone. This is amazing. I wish we had smell vision <laughs> You're just going to have to go get some. But tell us, to start off, Mark, a little bit about your background. Well, so I... I did a little what you did. I know, TV, I love this. long ago, a sports reporter in Dallas, and then I joined the family business, which is restaurants, and now I'm fortunate to be able to cook fried chicken and chicken sandwiches and fantastic salads and ribs every day. I, and how long have you all been open? Our first one opened three years ago uh, in Dallas-Fort Worth, but we've opened four down here in the greater Houston area with more to come. Uh, and we've opened two in the last couple months. Yes, and tell us about these locations. One is up in Spring at Grand Parkway in uh, Kirkendall, just a little south on Kirkendall, right. and the second was in Katy, uh, which is at I-10 and Mason Road. Oh my gosh, you have to check it out because looking at this chicken, here's the first thing I noticed. First of all, it looks beautiful, but your bird is big. They're Go huge. Bigger. I mean, size does matter. Let's be <laughs> real. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, no one wants a ch you know chintzy chicken. No, they're huge. Our tenders are usually about three to four ounces, and competitors that almost anybody would know about, they serve one ounce tenders. So uh, the value of what you get on the tray is, it should be great for anybody yeah. that comes in. And you're known for your hotness of it, if you will. We so are. So tell us a little bit about what you're serving up here. On the left side uh, is our not hot tender, our original recipe. Um, which is fantastic for somebody like my dad who doesn't like spice. Me too, I'm basic. <laughs> I'm a little basic. Not really, but my taste buds sometimes hot is a little bit. Which much. is totally <laughs> fine. They're fantastic by themselves. We have mild, medium, that's our most popular heat Ooh. level, Texas hot, and these are AMF chicken tenders. Okay, what is AMF? <laughs> People at home are probably like, wh say what? Well, so I have kids, 13, 11 years right. old. It's adios, my friend. <laughs> and that, that's what we go with. I'm just using that in everyday life. AMF, adios, my friend. All right, and then some amazing salads, too. We decided let's go complex with our salads. A lot of fast, casual places uh, will just give you lettuce, tomatoes, and maybe a little cheese. And to think that we have a salad with um, dates and almonds and corn, cherry tomatoes and goat cheese, oh, yeah. and all less than $13. Okay. That's a deal for sure. <laughs> and you're not skimpy with your avocado. No. Everyone's skimpy with their avocado, but not you guys. No, not at all. Thank we you. Uh, we want to make sure we, we provide the best salads, best chicken, best really anything uh, on our menu to anybody that comes in. So what is it? What's your, well, you can't tell me your secret, but what is it about your chicken that sets it apart, especially how you get it so hot? Each one is uh, breaded to order in the back, so we're not cooking ahead. And with the recipe, uh, we started working on hot chicken several years ago, mm -hmm. and it took a year and three months every day wow. of working on the recipe over and over and over again. Uh, with the basic Texas hot chicken, it's cayenne that drives it, and we work all the way up to using the hottest three peppers in the world on the AMF. Whoa, whoa, my husband needs to try it that. Burns. I, I, it burns. We try to tell people don't do it. <laughs> Have hurts. some milk on the side, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And I noticed sauces because I'm a little saucy. I like to dip. I'm a big dipper. So what sauces are You're you? You're not alone. Well, we brought ranch, oh, and that's then a -to. shack sauce, which Ooh. is a comeback sauce. It's a little tangy. Uh -huh. Our employees will say it's like cane sauce. I'm like, can we not talk <gasps> about a competitor here? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna dip my finger. Please. To test it. And then honey mustard is over to uh, mm. to the left of it. Oh, it's yeah. incredible. That's amazing. And you dip your fries. You have to get we it do. on the side and dip And we have fries. two kinds of fries, regular fries and dragon fries, which are dragon. spicy. Oh. We put scorpion pepper on them. They're not, they're not too hot, but, but just hot enough where you continue to want one after another. AMF, that's all I have to say <laughs> for this. Where can people go for more information? Well, we have uh, thecookshack.com is our website. Uh, we have four restaurants in Houston, uh, the Washington Heights area, Webster, Spring, Katy, and one to come in Copperfield. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you. I've enjoyed having you on my show. I may have to have a co-host over Maggie, here. Thank Drag you, you very back much. in. <laughs> All right, you. stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Athens, and I'm going to dig in during commercial.